It seems as though lately we have been bombarding you with stories about local artists, and this week is no exception. We have one more for you. The stories are just a testament to the hidden talents that exist in the community. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but as you walk through the fine and performing arts department at Needham High School, the pictures are worth much more. They tell stories of local teens and what inspired them to create great works of art. The students are currently preparing to display their artwork to members of the community for the annual high school art exhibit. The art exhibit takes place every single year and it features artwork from just about every single visual art class that we run here at Needham High School. We have um, well over 800 students taking visual art classes each semester uh, from grades 9 through 12. The other great thing about coming to visit the art show is we have this beautiful facility that opened up about a year ago and we love showing it off from our ceramics rooms to our digital photo labs, our graphics labs and our wonderful um, bright airy studio art rooms. We like to say the art department went from the pit, we used to be in the basement of the old Webster Street building, to the penthouse now where the arts really belong. The exhibit is an accumulation of student artwork over their classes at the high school work that Matt Dubin and Jennifer Howard are proud to showcase. Well, I've always liked this art exhibit, and the one reason why is because as an artist, you don't really get your chance to shine very often. You know, athletes get like that game every week. Artists don't really get that recognition. So this is our one time of the year where we get to shine, we get to show off all our work. People come in and, you know, they, you can talk to them, they walk around. It's just really cool to see their reactions and just, you know, talk to them about like how you, they like your work, criticism, anything. It's just really, it's really cool. I feel like instead of just knowing how to do the technical aspects of art, now I can infuse my own ideas behind it and they can still, I can still get a good technical print, but I can also explore more of the inspiration and the ideas behind the picture. It becomes more of a, a passion than just a class you're going to take, so I know that I chose this class because I was interested in taking photography and even though it might seem like, oh well, it's required to take art at high school, actually people really get involved in it and are passionate about it, so it's um, a great way to see some very interesting art. The students and faculty are anticipating a large turnout and encourage all to see what they have produced. This artwork is amazing. Like, I cannot explain to you or even show you how cool this artwork is. Uh, there are people with different stories, with different you know, ideas, expressions, and everyone here just has their own style. And you'll be surprised by like, how interesting, how thought-provoking this work is. I'm most proud of the quality and the quantity of the work and the dedication of my teachers who spend countless hours all year long trying to put together uh, great lesson plans and great prompts to enable the students to keep pushing the envelope. You're going to be amazed by the quality of the work. You're going to be pushed a little bit because we do ask our students, especially our older students, to push the envelope, to try to make a strong statement, to try to get a reaction from the viewer. So you're going to be amazed at seeing works that are just straight ahead beautiful just straight ahead, lovely to look at, and others we hope are going to make you pause and look and say, hmm, to think about it and really get into what the artist is trying to say. And if you're unable to attend the grand opening, not to worry. The student's artwork will be on display for public viewing from May 14th to May 27th during regular school hours, Monday through Friday. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Antonetta Coralio.